With the Blast Radio desktop app, broadcasting any audio source from your computer is super simple. First, download the Blast Radio mobile app and set up your profile. Open the Blast Radio desktop app. If you don't have it, download from blastradio.com. Type in your username or email. You'll then receive an email with a six-digit authorization code. Copy that code and paste it back into the app to log in. Once you've logged in, click Options on the top left and choose Audio MIDI Settings. You'll see an option for Input where you can select the audio source you want to broadcast onto Blast Radio. In this case, I'm using a Scarlett audio interface with a mic plugged into it. You could also use a USB-powered mic, a MIDI device, a virtual audio driver, or third-party audio routing software. Once you've selected the input, close out of the Options screen and then click the Start Broadcast button to begin your broadcast. The audio coming through the input will be uploaded to the cloud as a lossless WAV file and delivered to the listener in the highest possible quality. Hey, you're listening to my show on Blast Radio. In the app, the broadcast icon will turn red and you'll see a red circle around your profile image. Your followers will receive a push notification that says you're on air. They can tap to open the app and tune into your broadcast. Listeners will see a prominent tip button. They choose the amount, then confirm by doing an in-app purchase. This operates the same on both iOS and Android. You will receive a notification that says how much you were tipped and by who. You can see your listener count as well as your tips raised directly in the standalone app. You'll also see tips and listener count in the broadcaster drawer in the mobile app. To end your broadcast, simply press the Stop Broadcast button. Your broadcast will be available to listeners for 24 hours before it expires. You can always access past broadcasts by visiting your profile. Swipe left on any broadcast to unpublish, delete, or download to have the lossless WAV file emailed to you. You can also do a sound check broadcast, which only you can hear. Click the user icon on the top right and choose sound check. The broadcast icon and the circle around your profile image will both turn yellow instead of red. Sound check mode turns off automatically after you broadcast. You can also log out if you're using someone else's setup or if someone else would like to log in using your computer.